Hey everyone, this is Miss Time Bunny and I'm here doing reaction videos again but I'm I thought I'm gonna do reactions to probably some like sort of like anti gay sort of commercials today just for the giggles. <laughs> That's all right. So uh right, this first one is an anti gay Chick fil A commercial and I know they've had a lot of issues with being an anti gay company and I think one actually was open here in the UK very, very briefly, but everyone kicked up a fuss and then they ended up shutting down within a couple of weeks, so they didn't last very long here in the UK. But let's have a look. <laughs> August 1st is Chick-fil-A Appreciation Day, so we hit the streets in gay-friendly Chelsea, New York to see if they'd change their stance on gay marriage for a free, delicious, classy chicken sandwich. Gay Americans should have the exact same rights as straight Americans. But that sandwich looks really good. Is it, is it free? I was a skeptic, but this makes a delicious argument for family values. Right to marry, right to have children, hospital visitation. I don't see a sandwich. Hey, are those pickles? Dill pickles. It's just a really complicated issue. Oh, this bun is amazing. How is this bun so soft? It's butter. Really? Oh, no, what if I already hate the gays? Can I still have the sandwich? Of course you can, brother. Shake the layer. Yeah, white power. Uh, Chick fil A. Fried chicken so good, it doesn't matter what we believe. But you've basically said, like, oh, we hate the gays. You can only have this burger if you believe in hating the gays. It's like. <sighs> no wonder you didn't last very long in hi here in the UK, because we just told you all to get your fucking homophobic ass out of here. And it's like. I hope you don't come back to the UK and I can understand why people hate them now so it's just like really you do yourself no favours <sighs> really but yeah they're just twats it's like so yeah I can't see them coming to the UK again anytime soon until they change their stance and I can see why so many Americans hate them now to be honest just like fuck off you twats <laughs> right next one Right, this next one is more of a anti-gay video rather than, strictly speaking, a commercial. So, let's have a little look at this one. It's called Boys Beware, 1950s anti-gay video. That looks innocent enough, doesn't it? Lots of young people hitchhike. Seems like a good way to get from one place to another. But sometimes there are dangers involved that never meet the eye. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly. One never knows when the homosexual is about. Let's take the case of Jimmy yes, Barnes. Jimmy played baseball all afternoon and <laughs> he didn't feel like walking home, so he decided to thumb a ride. He'd done it a hundred times before, and he didn't think anything was unusual when the driver struck up a friendly conversation. In fact, he seemed like a real nice guy. What Jimmy didn't know was that Ralph was sick. A sickness that was not visible like smallpox, yeah, but head. no we're less wrong. dangerous and we're contagious. Wrong. A sickness of the mind. You see, Ralph was a homosexual. A person who demands an intimate relationship with members of their own sex. So no matter where you meet a stranger, be careful if they are too friendly. If they try to win your confidence too quickly, and if they become overly personal. One never knows when the homosexual is about. He may appear normal. Yes, you be careful of those homosexuals. We're dangerous and we're sick in the head. <laughs> See, you're allowed... Well, I think we're allowed to make fun of these old 1950s things because it's, like, obviously very different than they thought, like, oh, my God, homosexuality is, like, a sort of mental illness and they're all just dangerous pedos and all this kind of shit, you know? It's just, like, shush now. We're not here to steal your children. <laughs> We're here to steal your pets instead. <laughs> right, I'm going to move on to the next video or commercial. So, here we go. Next transition. <laughs> right, we're on to the third video. So, I think I'm going to make this the last video to react to in this one main video. Because the other two I've found are a little bit longer. And the last thing I want to do is make this sort of video too long, if that makes sense. So the other two I've found, because they were six minutes and ten minutes long, I'll probably do them as separate videos. 
But this last one is a anti-gay indoctrination cartoon made by the Jehovah's Witnesses. So, yeah, I thought like rather than make it all commercial, I've tried to make it mix it up a bit. So, it's a whole yeah. I've made this all like a mixture of commercials and sort of propaganda videos. So let's have a look. Yes, there are allowed to be mixtures, you know. Look, Mom. I drew a family in school today. Oh, wow. I didn't have time to finish Caleb's face. <laughs> Carrie drew two mommies. She told me they're married to each other. My teacher says that all that matters is that people love each other and that they're happy. Well, duh. Hmm. Well, people have their own ideas about what is right and wrong. But what matters is how Jehovah feels. He wants us to be happy. And he knows how we can be happiest. That's why he invented marriage the way he did. You mean one man and one woman? Exactly. He wants us to be Look happy, at Genesis one twenty seven. Like, Jehovah created Adam and Eve, male and female. Then in Genesis two twenty four, he said that a man will stick to his wife. Later, Jesus said the same thing. Jehovah's standards haven't changed. It's kind of like going on an airplane. What would happen if someone wanted to bring something on the plane that wasn't allowed? They couldn't go on the trip. Right. It's the same with Jehovah. He wants us to be his friend and live in paradise forever. But we have to follow his standards to get there. At Matthew 7, yeah, 13 and 14, it talks and about and the road the leading to paradise. <laughs> to get there, Jehovah says we have to leave some things behind. That means anything Jehovah doesn't approve of. Well, Jehovah sounds a bit shit. But I want everyone to get to paradise. So does Jehovah. And you know what? People can change. That's why we share his message. Woo, so, yes, I've stopped what being can you a gay say now. To Woo. Well, I could tell her about the paradise. I could tell her about the animals and the resurrection. That's awesome. Let's practice. Yeah, these dirty gays, they come round here being happy. How dare they? Ugh. Just, ugh. I think I'm allowed to say that's a load of bullshit, to be honest. It's okay, so you dirty gays, you ain't going to heaven. Guess what? Your God don't exist. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a bitchy mood today. I'm just in one of them moods. It's just like, these gays, they come round here, but you'd be leaving that gayness at the door if you want to get into heaven. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I'm just happy as I am, thanks. Yes, it's a case of like, I'm all for like, yeah, you believe what religion you want to, but when you start being all like, oh, let's take away ropes from people because, you know, it's wrong. It's just like, shush now. But then again, it's a case of these are the same people who are like, oh, you know, gays are ruining the sanctity of marriage. And then they go and sort of like, it's actually the straights that have like higher rates of divorce. But, you know, okay, we're the ones that ru are ruining marriage, but hey ho, I'm getting soapboxy now, so I'm going to, I'm going to shush now, and I'm going to end here, and I will probably react to the other two ones I found in separate videos because they're a bit longer, and I will see you all in the next video before I go on a full on rant about religion and people, and it's just like no, <laughs> but I'll see you all later.